This is a demonstration of using the Octave GUI and visualization systems at SharkNet. In particular, I'll be demonstrating the use of a GUI developed in MATLAB for EEG analysis. That is the EEG Lab toolbox developed at Schwartz Center for Computational Neuroscience. Now, in general, Octave is a powerful high-level interpreted language that's very useful for prototyping uh, computational analysis and interacting with data, as well as visualizing data. Now, it's been known for its compatibility with MATLAB, particularly at the command line. That is, many uh, of the scripts and functions that you write specifically for MATLAB can be executed by Octave, oftentimes with no changes to the code whatsoever. Now, there have been instances in the past of Octave being distributed with the capacity to have um, an interactive GUI. But now the latest release, that is Octave 4.0.0, comes with a native and graphical user interface and support for class def object oriented programming. There's also better compatibility with MATLAB. This can be particularly useful on high performance computing um, systems in that whenever we have data over <coughs> on the file systems for those compute nodes, we might want to be able to then just go into that file system and visualize from there rather than having to continuously bring data back to a local machine and visualize it inside of MATLAB. <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to SharkNet and the facilities. And although Octave has been valuable for many years running um, on the compute nodes via the scheduler, today what we're going to do is just log into a visualization system and start up the graphical user interface. <clears throat> now, here logged into a visualization system. Just going to load the module for Octave and start Octave from the terminal. And then here we see that it just starts by default with a graphical user interface. This graphical user interface allows you to browse around for files and Importantly, from the visualization system, this is on the file systems that are accessible to the compute nodes of the resource, which are remote to the computer. We also have the command window as well as an editor. Now, in this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my work folder where I have data that um, had compute performed on it via the scheduler using functions from EEG Lab. And then in this folder, we can see that if I go down in here, I have the EEG lab um, folder distribution in here. What I'm going to do in the command line is just turn off some of the warnings that are generated and then add the path where the EEG lab functions are. Now, also in the GUI, there's a, a nice editor. If I try uh, edit. EG Lab. I'll just give a brief tour of some changes that I made to the code so that the, the graphical user interface of EEG Lab would work inside of Octave. Now these changes are very trivial and, and quite obvious because this EEG Lab code had instances where it checks to see whether or not the code is running inside of MATLAB or not. And many of these instances if it is not MATLAB, would just terminate the code. So all that I did in the MATLAB, in the EEG lab function was to comment out any instance of this if it's not MATLAB uh, return. Now another instance of something that I changed, the only other instance of changing code to run this graphical user interface is the the native function uh, find objects, which returns handles for items in a GUI. Um, and of course, this, this function get calls a lot and gets called a lot when building a GUI. And the input GUI function of EEG Lab calls it several times. But the change that had to happen was relatively trivial, that when these um, two items are concatenated, uh, if they're of a di different orientation, uh, this would fail. So by adding code, making sure that they're both of the same orientation, uh, that was the only other thing that I had to add.
And you can see here that the editor is nice and allows for breakpointing and uh, quick prototyping of procedures. So now from the command line, if I just call eglab, we'll see that we'll get a bunch of warning messages in the command window as it goes through and checks for vernacular differences between Octave and MATLAB. But the GUI comes up complete um, with expansive menus. We can use it interactively. And what I'm going to do is just load up an existing file. Now this file had computation done on it um, in the compute nodes of the system. And they were left here in the work directory that I have. Just double click on this file. Plenty of warning messages in the command line. But we see that many of the you know, options for plotting, uh, including relatively interactive ones, um, are enabled and will open. Now, although the performance, of course, is suffering because of all the, the differences in the specifics of the two languages, it seems that this is probably a good time to <coughs> consider octave compatibility when developing graphical user interface uh, programs such as EEG Lab. So this has been the demonstration of using the octave 4.0.0 GUI in a visualization system at SharkNet.